Venkatesan. I work for the Department of Networking and Communication in School of Computing. And uh, regarding the UHP program earlier, I have attended a UHP introductory workshop during December 2022 and this UHP uh, 2 during uh, May, June 2023. And also, I have attended the 8th badge morning session of UHP 3 and currently I am attending this uh, 9th badge morning session again. And uh, coming to the takeaways, <coughs> my first takeaway would be like this point, how our body is existing in nature along, along with the other units. The other units are such as the air, water, sun, the trees, plants, animals, and how we interact with them in a definite manner. Because like in the, uh, initially, like when I was discussing in the first day, I realized that each and every organs or the cells inside the body are self-organized. And the sense organs, everything is being connected with the brain. For example, eye is connected with the brain, so it is organized. A mouth is connected with the brain. Our feet is connected with the brain. So everything is self-organized and we don't have anything to do with this. Everything is happening naturally, like we intake anything, it could be water or food or any, any, anything, snacks or something. It goes inside the esophagus, then to the stomach and it's extracting all the necessary nutrients and the waste thing is excreted. So this is how the body is organized. And I realized like how we should make our body in harmony because um, this things, like as Supraja said, when I was handling this UHV2, there was only one slide of intake of food uh, and uh, like the daily routine, uh, labor uh, exercises and other things. But uh, we were, I was really shocked that this single slide is having so many in turn sub-slides over there and so intake of air itself, there, are so, there was so many content and intake of, especially intake of water, it was uh, really it was the first time I saw that uh, circadian rhythm where uh, we have to drink at least one glass of water before six o'clock and I was uh, spending some time with my husband and my kids and I was saying all this, uh, we are doing many things wrong. So this intake of water is very important and how we should intake water like during the morning session and how we should take after during the after session. Like uh, Didi said, like it should be more uh, during the morning session and less during the afternoon session. So, and also how about intaking the sunlight and intake of hair, the breathing, how we should breathe. So that was real, that was my first takeaway. And the second one is uh, recommendation for health. Actually based on principles, there are totally seven principles. So out of which we can only try with the one. And uh, the first which I can start is by taking appropriate and correct intake. Uh, usually I follow a few uh, certain diets like uh, uh, except during the weekends, during the weekdays I'll be taking only fruits and vegetables but what happens is that like morning I be, I'll be taking some sort of porridge or something like that or fruit something and afternoon again maybe some vegetables and evening when I go back and after working here and when I reach home and after working over there I'll feel hungry and I started taking uh, much uh, content comparatively to taking morning and uh, afternoon. So it was a, a reverse process and my husband will say this is not a good thing and now I identify the taking appropriate and correct uh, intake and that should be done in a proper manner during the particular meal. Like morning this should be taken, afternoon uh, this much quantity and uh, evening it should be this much quantity and before 7 uh, p.m. So that was uh, the thing. That is, uh, uh, I shall continue with my healthy routine and lifestyle in synchronization with the cycles of nature. And, uh, and uh, regarding this, um, the like how cleansing of body different ways, Didi have said like oil pulling and then sprinkling of eyes into the water. So these are the small, small things which we can be able to do without any extra efforts and all things. So that is, the, that is another thing which I can go along with that. And the next one is identifying the correct food according to the seasons. Like that was also a new thing for me. Like we have different seasons like winter, spring, summer, rainy and autumn. 
so uh, so in this season like didi was saying like during the summer the digestion is slow and during the winter the digestion was strong so this was also really like uh, it was like oh it have it is like that so we have to take uh, this type of category of foods during this uh, season so that was a uh, take away from me and uh, dr uh, akilesh am uh, i correct didi so he was speaking about this basic uh, human constitution about the vata pitta and kapha so that was also uh, new for us like we belong to all these three category and how the body's constitution is made and each one of us uh, belong to this own so so it was good like when we are filling that uh, tracker sheet so that was another take away and also about dr sundarraj perumal's health habits so he was saying many new things like um, he was describing each and every category of foods like pulses fruits vegetables all these things like how we have to take about the milk and he was saying like the last 40 days he was taking only the milk it was this also this point also i was saying to my husband so leave see he was actually when i i said in the screen itself he was looking like a shiny shiny and he was taking only milk and i and i said sharmila didi she is so and so age and she is like a young girl you can see the face she is shiny shining and this is the reason she said she is having arthritis problem few years before and i can't imagine she is not sitting also she is walking and standing in the way like how she is having energy so it was really real shocked and i was saying all this to my husband discussing so in fact we you are the role models i can say uh, with respect to the health <laughs> okay and also i shall try to incorporate labor works before uh, uh, keeping maid housekeeping i was the one who will be uh, uh, sweeping mopping doing all those and after started uh, uh, maintaining the housekeeping like, like you know like our duty is only to cook and maybe during the weekdays we'll be doing that uh, sweeping and mopping now i'm trying to do the labor works but usually morning i would be uh, doing the surya surya namaskar but that's that's usually 10 minutes and after that some crunches which is around only 20 minutes but now i'm uh, realizing that i can do still more asanas which will be still flexible for us and also i can go for some evening walking because i don't uh, go along with my husband usually he, uh, uh, he 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 wanted me to come out for walking and all that he expects that but i usually don't do because i say that i have this work and that work and neglecting all that even even if i go for walking also i'll be coming with the phone and say that someone would call it be an important call and also he gets irritated like again we are coming walking only to spend uh, our our uh, i mean this uh, uh, what to say this is precious uh, moment for him because only during this time we both can talk freely without kids over there kids would be going to tuition of freely uh, playing over there and he says that and i was just uh, thinking about this so we have to incorporate i have i have to incorporate this also like spending time with him during the walk time without the electronic gadgets so that is the key, key take away so these are the things which i uh, thought i can implement it immediately and yeah so third thing is uh, do we need to include this in the uh, uh, i mean in the schools and colleges i can say few incident why we should include this early morning we have the our class starts by 8 o'clock so we go freshly so that we because we'll be rushing freshly to we we'll have a plan that we have to finish this before the ct1 and all that but when we enter the moment the students will be there either in the mobile phone or most of them would be putting the heads down and sleepy almost and it will be some few times it will be irritated and the moment we make them to wake up pay attention to the content it is really very bad because 8 o'clock we enter by 9:45 we have to finish the thing and uh, I, and the reason is i ask for why you early morning we are coming fresh and you are feeling very sleepy ma'am late night we slept many reasons they say and see look at the timing they are saying i say i said whether you'll sleep by 12 or 1 but the timing they said it was very shock this incident happened in the lab i was a co faculty in the lab we were by for 8 o'clock lab we were by 755 and when i was entering i can see only one student over there none of them was there and sir i let me finish none of them none of them was there and slowly slowly by 830 by 845 they are coming and i one of the guy came and i said what is the time you are coming by 9 o'clock he said ma'am i am coming from abode abode is near nearby only abode valley i think it's 10 minutes right so it's there i said like coming from abode you could have got by 6 o'clock he said ma'am i slept by 6 o'clock 
I was really shocked. They are sleeping by 6 o'clock and 5 o'clock and how they are getting up like this. The early morning classes is also like that. So late night sleeping, very, very late night sleeping and they come to the class and they are literally sleeping or in the mobile phone. And also during the break time, I can see that they go, uh, go to the canteen, they come with this, uh, what is that, that uh, chips, okay, the lace packet and with all the other uh, bad items, food, uh, bad food items. And when I, whenever we go in between, uh, we can see this shawarma in the hand rolled up or chapati or something and all the uh, dust in the air is inside that only. They think that it is very uh, stylish for them. They are sitting around somewhere else or uh, they are walking around, but all the dust is coming inside that. And this is the way they are, uh, I mean, the, the, the style has been changed. They think that this is the lifestyle now. And I don't know whether they have analyzed, they have felt the what? Kalavum kattru madam. College days la kalavum kattru marakanu la? Ah, solunga, yes. College days la kattu kaam, in the days la kattu kerudu? Sir, but still, School days la kattu kaam, ippu kattu kerudu? It has become very worse. Kattu kattu marandur vanga ma'am, aung age jarum bodhu vittru vanga. It has become very worse, so we need to implement it. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing a lot of things.